Greetings, Aloha and Elokesh. G-A-I, that's as close as I can get to Gaia. So, interesting, this is Heaven on Earth, video 5, because what you're seeing on the screen is with five senses. But it's still real news. It's very interesting when you start really looking out there. Take the tree, for example. It's often spoken about that the nervous system is like the roots of a tree. But what about the arteries and the veins? It's funny these words have so many meanings. I mean, it is often said if someone talks about themselves too much, they are being vain. Well, big clue in that, in the reverse perspective. So, if you think about the way trees work, which they work on tension, so they draw water up. That's the, it's not that an efficient system. They, use, they draw up a lot more water than they need. Um, what can be fatal to a tree is to get an airlock. Under a microscope, if you were to examine a piece of wood, it would look like a collection of straws because trees work on tension. That's exactly the same way that our blood works through the arteries and the veins. It's a common misconception that the heart is a pump. It's not. It does. It, it's folded over. It squeezes. It compresses and then pushes out, as it were. But it's actually in the blood. That is your life force. We were created in the image of God, just like the green screen of nature. It's the same when the tree sheds its leaves. It's like a giant sneeze. Those leaves then fall and transform and go back into nature in this endless cycle in this natural world. It works on the principle of the number, the figure eight. It's infinite. It just keeps going and going. If there was no interaction, for example, here, how long do you think the man-made structures would survive before nature reclaimed them? Just think of South America and the colossal pyramids that are under uh, huge forestry forested areas. Um, they're just not apparent. That just shows what nature can do. But coming back to us, the key element here, it's within the blood. It is your life force and it is plasma. Now, interestingly, plasma is the natural origin of communism. The principles of communism being of freedom within a collective, well, that is exactly the way plasma works as well, within the gas. It, we can see it um, as photons. Just listen to Greg Bart. Greg Bryden channel, um, if you want to see the science behind all of this. It is quantum potential. It is the proof that thought and feeling has a direct impact on this reality. This is the shadow that we're looking at here. It's a very attractive shadow, but it is a shadow. It is what you create and objectify in the mind that then affects this reality. So if you it's what you objectify is what is created in the shadow world that you see out there. I've made um, 
several playlists on this channel. Um, there's two very good children's books um, that are worth listening to that explain things in the simplest terms. They are definitely the things to start with and then go from there and then progress on to the new thought writers, Neville Goddard, Joseph Murphy, uh, Florence Chauvel Skin, Shin, and many more. But that is the place to start. And then just listen to Neville Goddard when he talks about his own life. At the age of, I think it was 37 or 38, he was called up to serve in the army in 1943. And for two months, he went into basic training with the prospect of actually going to fight. But through his own imagination, he pictured himself in the streets of New York. And after two years, he got honorably discharged. And because he was in, drafted into the US Army, he got automatic US citizenship. And sure enough, he found himself in New York. So from this, we can take just in that one example that no matter what this reality shows and how sinister and evil it looks, remember it is just an opposite. This reality, this life, is nothing more than a game, just like a game of snakes and ladders. You just go back to square one. Just don't try and climb up the snakes. Learn to climb up the ladders. Or you can just keep going square by square by square, but you will eventually get to square 100. That is a given. Ta-ta for now.